the story of the School of Commoning. What time is it in the world today? Looking back at the recent past, our recent story, we're in a time which still experiences the effects of the global financial crisis, a crisis that began almost five years ago. What have the solutions been? Printing money? Bailing out banks? Austerity and cuts? Are the austerity measures working? And people have been losing their homes, losing their jobs. We're in the midst of prolonged unemployment, rising inflation, and a severe shortage of funding to small and medium-sized businesses, including social enterprises. All this while the banks got bailed out to keep a system going. A system that, according to author of Sacred Economics Charles Eisenstein, is reaching its inevitable end. In his excellent short film Sacred Economics, Eisenstein states, Scarcity is built into our everyday lives through the money system, right down to the way it is created as interest-bearing debt. In this way, there is always more owed than there is to go around, and throws people into competition with each other for never enough money. Money goes to those who will create even more of it, not to those who want to benefit society or nature. Economic growth means you have to find something that was once nature and make it into a good, or was once a gift relationship and make it into a service. You have to find something that people once got for free or did for themselves and each other, and then take it away and sell it back to them somehow. By turning things into commodities, we get cut off from nature in the same ways we're cut off from community. Many basic human needs go unmet, and if you have money, you might try to fulfil this hunger through purchasing, through buying things, or through accumulating money itself. Now we're nearing the end of growth, our planet can't sustain much more growth, and that's why the crisis that we have today won't go away. As world leaders keep an unsustainable system going just a little bit longer, the story of scarcity and unlimited growth is coming to an end. In a time of transition, there seems to be a real need for reflection. What culture and society can we dream into being? And what will it need to make it sustainable and allow people and planet to thrive? How do we learn and co-create cultural practices and social institutions for a world that works for everyone and all that we share? that's where the School of Commoning comes in. The kind of learning or educational institution that educates for the new world that we are stepping into. At the School of Commoning, we are co-creating a new narrative. And that narrative is based on the perennial yet emerging narrative of the Commons. While the idea of the Commons as a term first used during the enclosure period in Britain had been largely lost, we are seeing a revival today. The story of the School of Commoning, Table of Contents. What is the Commons, and Commoning is its lifeblood? Who we are and why we are here? A timeline of SSC activities from May 2011 to May 2012. The School of Commoning as a living educational Commons and how to participate in the unfolding future pages of the story.